It's beautiful, it's beautiful. And I saw right through what most people pause and move on, to, which is he's got scarring on his face. So I think people see that and they automatically assume that this is a fighter, gotta move on. The scratches on faces doesn't necessarily mean that it's not from dog fighting, but he also could have been the victim. There's just something so deep about this dog. I think I'm probably the only one here that he's really, really shown himself to easily and openly. Oh, what a good kid. What a good kid. Oh, it's on now. <laughs> here it goes. <laughs> to a house with a pool, maybe, you know? You know, he's very special to me. When Bronco finally goes home, I'll be elated, comma, devastated. I will be elated because they're gonna get him. Do you know what I mean? It's not gonna be light. It's gonna be somebody that bonds with him. Oh, you're a good boy. Helicopter tail. I love the helicopter tail. I did want to earn Bronco's trust, so I went back several times, and I went started to go back uh, every day that I could, so I would try to go five days in a row when they were open. But where the breakthrough came through, I was in one of the little visiting areas with him, and he kind of seemed like it didn't matter if I was there or not, but then suddenly he jumped up on the bench with me, and then he put his head in my lap, and that's when he really had me, and I just melted. Best part about Bronco is just the way he makes me feel. I, I don't like to say he's been saved, I think he saved me. I love coming home to Bronco. Hi, I'm the host of Ask a Vet. You're watching The Pet Collective Cares. Don't forget to subscribe.